The Nintendo Switch presentation just concluded, and while Nintendo did announce the 300 US dollar price point for the system, they didn't announce the pricing information for any accessories, like the Joy-Con controller, like the Pro Controller, and other things that are going to become available. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. I'm here to go through some pricing information for the Nintendo Switch that is releasing March the 3rd. It's only roughly a month and a half away. If you're wondering what's included in this system, of course this site is from Nintendo themselves. So you do have two options when buying the system. Nintendo Switch with grey Joy-Con that looks like this in the box. However, you also have the Nintendo Switch with neon blue and neon red Joy-Cons. With this, you get the Switch console, the Joy-Con blue, which is the L controller, the Joy-Con red. Of course, you also get the Switch dock. You get the wrist straps, the Joy-Con grip to almost turn this into a Pro Controller, the high-speed HDMI cable, and the Nintendo Switch AC adapter, all for $300. Next pricing information that they did not announce, though, is that the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller will be $70. US So that's a bit higher than I was personally expecting. I think a good price point would be $50 or $60. $70 feels like it's a little bit high. Next up, we have the Joy-Con controllers. If you're looking to buy a pair of them, you can either buy black black or you can buy neon blue or neon red or a combination of neon blue and neon red so you can get these two of them for eighty dollars us now if you want to buy just one of them individually that will be fifty dollars us so you're getting a little bit of a deal of course if you buy two of them and if you're wondering this is a bit comparable to buying wii remotes on the wii u or the nintendo wii usually those are something like thirty five to forty dollars so each of these is basically just like a wii remote they both have motion sensing capabilities they both have l and r buttons that are hidden actually and you can use them as controllers themselves they also have motion sensing capabilities and of course, they will dock into your system if you need them to do that as well. So next up, we do have the Joy-Con charging grip. This does come with the system already. That will be $30 if you need to buy that, or if you need to buy a second one. Then you have the Nintendo Switch dock set. I guess in case you do damage your system and it breaks at some point, you can buy this for $90. So this is coming with the dock. This also comes with the Switch AC adapter and the HDMI cable. So these are included with the system themselves. Then the last thing posted on their website is the Joy-Con wheels. There's a set of two of these that you can get. So Nintendo is pricing these at $15, $7.50 each roughly. It's interesting that there are two of them so you can play with a friend while you game as well. That is all the pricing information from the website for Nintendo, for the Nintendo Switch. Let me know what your thoughts are. The system at $300, first of all, is that a good price point to get you captivated with Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch on March the 3rd? I was predicting a price point at $280. This is slightly above that. I think $300 is in a pretty good range that most people would be interested in buying this system. Of course, this is roughly almost the same price as the Xbox I think the Xbox One and the PS4 are roughly around there, but their updated versions will be a little bit more than the Nintendo Switch. But this is a home slash handheld console on the go. So is the $300 a good price point for you? Please comment below. But also, what are your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller being $70? This one does have HD rumble, which is a little bit different. You can kind of feel a bit more of the rumble capabilities in this system compared to the GameCube, or even in combination or comparison, I should say, to the Nintendo 64 rumble. This is a lot more, but $70? I'm not sure if that's the right price point. What about the Joy-Con controllers? One of them being $50 US dollars, two of them being $80 US dollars. And lastly, if you could please comment, what are your thoughts on the colors that are available of both neon blue and neon red? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment below your thoughts on the pricing information for the Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure why they didn't announce this information during the Direct or during their press conference, but now we know the pricing information for it. So please comment below what your thoughts are. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all, keep smiling while gaming, and thanks so much for watching.